Hey, this is Nikki and I'm here with part two of today's message and this is for those who are in a twin flame soul to soul or looking to reunite with their vibrational matches in this lifetime and I've just done an energy read and the crowning energy was um, coming into our power so solar plexus expansion into the cosmic heart and that was number 37 um, in the energy deck so I'm going to share letters number 37 and 137 from the divine love letter books and so these are all channeled letters that I do between people's higher selves their twins and just an incredible way to get messages from what the universe wants us to know what your twin spirit wants you to know to help you stay on track <clears throat> and so this is uh, number 37 so, as sure as the sky is blue, the moon follows the sun, and the wind follows the rain, I am coming home to you. There is nothing that would stop me from being with you again, truly with you, every part of me with every part of you. I have missed that so much and have waited so long to feel that true love vibration and connection which ignites every cell in my body when I see, feel or think of you. Please know that this is not a game. It is love, and love is very real. Finding true love and waking up to the enormity of what that means, and everything that it, you, bring, is just so immense on so many levels. It takes time to digest, time to sink in, and time to let love be my only guide. You are my guide. Back to me, back to you back to true love which is the all <clears throat> okay so I can see why this message so if you go back to the energy read for today um, the key thing to know for them was that we were the goddess of the moon right by their side guiding and so this letter just references that reading completely <clears throat> so uh, 137 and uh, the message is from 137 is this so I am in your heart you are my soul you are my guiding light my passport home it's been a difficult time and I'm sorry that it's taken me a long time to be able to be present for you I want you to know that all of this time I've been loving you from afar feeling you in the deepest parts of me feeling the call of your love it's taken me by surprise at how strongly the feeling creeps up on me. Every now and then, and I feel it, it's like bam, a smack in my chest. My heart starts pulsating quick and I see an image of you. And I'm left thinking, wow, what was that? A shock to the heart of love, like a bullet it hits me, but it's lodged in my heart forever. You, you are in my heart forever. Shh. Sorry, that's my dog. And, uh, Blondie, shush. Right, so, you are in my heart forever. So now 37 from book two. Is this? That you are like a classic, beautiful vintage car. Smooth lines and so much grace. I cannot wait for our energies to whir together. To burn on all cylinders to fuel each other with the passion and desire of true love. True divine love that can change the world. Imagine how powerful the feeling will be. Imagine what our bodies will experience. The gift we bring each other is out of this world. We bring to each other the gift of enlightenment, of truth, of true beauty, of wonder. We are gonna set the world on fire and each other with our flames of desire. T F flames <laughs> so we're going to set the world on fire with our tf flames so 137 you're my light of my life the love of my life the joy in my heart i wish that i could tell you all of this in person i always seem to be waiting for the right time the perfect moment the perfect setting but every time i lose my nerve I get riddled with insecurities and I feel so nervous when I'm around you. I can't say how I really feel and then I kick myself afterwards. I know that I need to. I know that I will. 
It's just that I need to close the door on the schoolboy fears that haunt me and hold me back. I know that I need to open the door to my heart fully and give my heart only to you. You are the only one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are my dream, my fantasy, my passion, my greatest challenge, my greatest love. Okay, finally from book three is how many bicycles in, are in Beijing? Nine million. And there aren't enough bicycles in the world that would stop me from cycling to you. The wheels are turning, the spokes in the wheels are whirring, and I am pedaling as hard as I can to get back to you. Sometimes it feels like I'm climbing up a mountain face, and other days it's easy. It's just so changeable, but know that I am on my way back home. Your heart is pulling me back. Your heart is my compass home. You are my yellow sweater. I'm doing it for us. Oh wow, so in yesterday's WhatsApp conversation, uh, the universe wanted to know to say uh, that we had the compass card for that, for the what does the universe want us to know? And it was to say, go into your heart because that is gonna lead you home. And it referenced, it was the compass card. So again, lovely, more synchronicities, more and more connections, more pieces of the jigsaw coming together. So finally, 137 from book three. Don't get lost. Don't get lost in your mind telling you you are alone. You aren't. I'm here. I'm right here in your heart. Place your hand on your heart. Close your eyes and call to me. Say, please come to me and hold my hand to bring me to my light, to bring us to our love. Do this and do it every day and you will know that I am with you. I don't want you to feel sad or lonely. Our souls are leading us home. We must listen to our souls and the call of our hearts. It is our truth. Believe in love. So, Place your hand on your heart, close your eyes and call to me. Please, come to me and hold my hand to bring me to my light, to bring us to our love. Do this and do it every day and you will know that I'm with you. There you go, wow, gorgeous. Those are the messages, just beautiful. Give me goosebumps all over. I can feel my twin's hand on mine. So just gorgeous, right? Just, that's the guidance, you know? Place your hand on mine, call me, call, call. You know, that's, it's so easy to get lost in your head when actually all you need to do is take those moments to go really deep within and trust in divine timing. Trust that the right time will come. Trust that the universe will do everything it can to bring you and your twin into your connection because you're here on a divine mission. You're here for a purpose. You agreed to this for a reason. So the universe will do everything it can to transpire, to bring you together. And there are so many jigsaw pieces being moved around in the background. The best thing you can do is focus all of your energy on going within your heart and just trusting that in divine timing, trusting on having faith, you know, really believing really feeling the connection and the reunion that's already within you. The more you focus your mind on that and the less you focus your mind on what they're doing, where they are, what's going on in their lives, all of that, basically that just depletes the connection because you know your connection is already there, it's in the heart. Don't worry about what's going on in the 3D because you have to trust that the universe is making it happen for you both to grow. The more that you focus on your own growth, the more you focus on your own heart, the more you do meditation, the more you practice on going within, practice on listening to your own guidance. That's the power, that's the strength that you bring to your connection. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, bye.